for business people like you in business settings such as this. So I don't tell jokes, per se. I initiate a project action plan by leveraging my core competencies, which enables me to tell best-in-class, well-positioned, out-of-the-box jokes, which forms a synergistic alliance, creates a paradigm shift, and at the end of the day, enables me to humorously empower the entire enterprise. That is what I do. Yeah. I'm a guy who makes people laugh about business, specifically your business. At a corporate event, I think people want to be motivated, inspired, and entertained. Humor provides all of that. I started out the year I did a show for Microsoft, and it went so well that they gave me an Xbox 360, okay? Then I did a show for Apple. That went so well that they gave me one of their eye touches. Now, I'm not going to jump to conclusions with this company, but I did tell my kids if Daddy does really well in Orlando, he could come home with a year's supply of Jasmine, Sumatra, and El Salvador coffees. <laughs> Hopefully you all got a chance to network. Uh, that's what you've been doing. That's the big buzzword at these conventions now. Everything's networking. It's always the, the networking luncheon followed by the networking reception and the networking dinner. I mean, do we have to network all the time, people? I mean, at a three-day conference like this, don't you think we should have at least one don't bother me breakfast? <laughs> you know, I mean, I think today would be a good day for that. I've got over a thousand corporate shows under my belt. And I've always known that you can make people laugh without profanity, offensive material, or making anyone feel uncomfortable. Any profession in any industry can be funny. I mean, I'm not a diabetic, okay, but I'm watching this commercial for this drug that helps you manage your diabetes. And it says at the end, it says you should not take this drug if you're in the late stages of heart failure. I got news for you people. If I'm in the late stages of heart failure, you know what I'm taking for my diabetes? Chocolate cake. That's what I'm taking. <laughs> You know what I think my favorite thing is about the stay at a Ritz Carlton is, is the staff. Because when you stay at a Ritz, no matter what you do, the staff thinks it's amazing. Seriously, I got there, I, I, I called up, I ordered a room service, I go, I'd like a Caesar salad, please. Outstanding choice, Mr. Schwem. <laughs> yeah, I kind of thought so too. How about this one? Ordinary life policy. How big of a loser do you have to be? that your insurance agent calls you up and says, Mr. Schwem, hey, I've been going over your file and it doesn't look like you've done anything too exciting in your life. People always say, Greg, where do you get your material? My preparation always includes a questionnaire and at least one conference call with a client, maybe more. So the answer is, I get it from you. Dale Trow is nice enough to give me this book here. I don't know if you've seen this. This is the public storage story behind the orange door. It's a great book. Now, this book costs $25, but if you don't want to spend that much, I can tell you there's going to be a really cheap copy on eBay in about 45 minutes. But um... Can I give you a tip? Um, next time you're at a convention and you're walking around the streets of the city at night, it is not necessary to wear your Accord Loma badges. <laughs> Comedy gets people's attention. I look out at my audience and I just know they're listening to me. Aren't they? Uh, during the presentation, I promise not to answer any emails promoting replica watches, free iPods, finding old classmates, or tweet, who hired this guy? <laughs> All in favor, aye. aye. You want a humorous keynote? I can do that. You want a master of ceremonies? I can do that. You want a roving reporter? <laughs> my background's in television journalism. I love doing that. Let's uh, let everybody know who you are. Glenn English. Glenn English, the CEO. That's correct. CEO, the guy who pays my salary, right? That's right. Yes, you're. So be careful I, what I you say. I was going to say you're you're a very attractive man, sir. I very distinguished and successful and all of the That's good enough. thing. Okay. Uh, which is higher, your IQ or cable IQ? My IQ. Mm -hmm. How high is cable IQs? Uh, I have no idea. How high are you right now? Don't get me wrong. I'm not just going to make jokes about work. Like most of my audience, I'm a family guy with kids. That's a never-ending source of material. I'm waiting for my daughter last Saturday night in the living room. She comes home, I go, you're late. She goes, I am not. I said, yeah, yeah. She goes, Dad, I texted you. BBB 10, be back by 10. I go, I got that. Didn't get my text, H-Y-B-H-T-H-E-T. Have your butt home two hours before that. I'd like to stop the show while all the parents go, okay, what was that one again? Let me just, uh, yeah. I know it sounds biased, but I firmly believe comedy works anywhere. Who goes to a corporate event and says, gosh, I really hope we don't laugh today? If that ever happens, I'm in the wrong business.
you're still watching. Very impressive. Either you really enjoyed that or you just don't feel like going back to work. Doesn't matter. I'm ready to make you laugh. See you soon.